everyone um so this is my second video i'm doing today um so it's tuesday the 16th no it's not it's tuesday the 19th of july um so yes i said him so i'll be oh, some of these might not be uploaded actually on the day that i'm filming it so i quite i probably i've said before so I'm sorry I'm sounding like a broken record so yeah um it's I think this is definitely going to work for me where I have a day where I do all my filming and then I can upload them throughout the week so when you see some of these they won't necessarily be the day I'm filming it so that's probably why I might say what date I'm doing it just depends so this is a little project share video so I won't bore you too much I'll try and go through it fairly quick because another reason is my battery's low and I know with doing videos it makes it run out quicker so I'm going to have to try and also get in the habit of keeping my camera charged so this is just a simple thank you card some paper that I had from Crafty Crab in her giveaway so I've done a video of that showing all the bits I had from there some pearl, I'm um, not pearls, bling that I got from the works um, one of my embossing folders, I had to play with that, on coordinations card, sanded it back and then used this ink pad just to rub over it to pick it out a bit more. So I can never have enough thank you cards. So I've also been making more tags for my tag book and eventually when that's full up, I will, um, no hold on I've lost the plot again, sorry. I had a bad night's sleep and I think it's affecting me. Um, so I'm leaving the backs plain because what I'm going to do is when I get to 500 subscribers, um, I'm going to put this in the giveaway. And the reason I'm leaving the black bank back blank, it's not easy to say, say that quickly, could get in trouble. The back blank is so whoever ends up getting this can do their own thing on the back or if you want, paint over that, change what I've done on them, I don't mind, I just thought it'd be fun to put in a giveaway. So on this it's got sweet wrappers, um, what they called raffle, raffle things that I've kept, uh, flowers that I've coloured with, my pro markers, buttons, a bit of ribbon I've coloured in, so yeah that's that one. These, some of these have got images that came, if I just lean and get it, from the little colouring mini colouring book that I also got from Crafty Crab. So I thought I'd colour them in and just put them on tags. So I'm basically using tags from packaging um, and then painting it and doing stuff and then just sort of adding it. Trying to do is it sort of a bit mixed media but different themes and stuff so it's not all one thing. Uh, obviously just paint another one of those images and just some ribbon so that's that one more ribbon because i've got a tub with scrap bits of ribbon in and like with my scrap paper and stuff i like to get it out and play with it otherwise it builds up and we all know what that's like and us crafters don't like to waste something so i thought they'd be my scrap ribbon would be quite fun to put on these tags so it's just that one this one I just um, painted on and sort of blended it as best I could then these circles are using my Tim Holtz crayons a black sharpie so some sharpies and just some doodling on that one so I've kept that one quite flat um, sorry for showing this but some Christmas cards so this one is just some scrap paper I've had from Do Crafts, um, bling, message from, I think, if I remember rightly because I've had it a while, was from one of my crafters companion kits and I've got, it's been shown in my videos before, but I've got a little thing in front of me and I just put like Christmassy odd bits in there. So when I have bits left over from kits I put it in there and mix media it. And then I went down the side with um, an ink pad just to distress it a bit. That's that one. 
this one is my from a Joanna Sheen CD um, Giorgiano I'm sorry I'm not very good with um, Italian um, so I don't know if it's still about her CD so I've just used some paper from Gorgeous Girls because um, I haven't got much paper so I'm just sort of trying to mix colours and stuff but as it was a sort of green colour and then just added these little snowflakes and some bling so that's that one and on the Joanna Sheen CDs they have several images in different sizes um, so it's quite nice that you can do a mixture of different size cards um, this is just coordinations used my corner punch some more some of that paper that was left over and I just tore that and put that down there and again the same image another bit from an old Christmas card went round it with some ink oops getting caught oh no my bow's come off Quick in that oh, I'll have to stick that on in a bit Mr Bow's come off um this is another one of her CDs um first edition paper some ribbon that I coloured with uh, this ink pad so the dewdrop if I get it up right way dewdrop one so I will just put that to one side so I remember to mend that this is a digi stamp that I won and I'm really sorry I cannot remember what company I think I might have to when I put them on my um, memory stick to give them a name of the company as well so that's cute little penguin coloured with pro markers one of my gel pens around the edge then this is another Joanna Sheen image I've used one of my embossing folders twice um, and even though it's a, a summery flower I just used my gilding wax over it just to make it a bit Christmassy another bit off an old Christmas card so that is pretty much my project share video so thank you very much for watching if you like it give us a thumb up leave a comment and if you're not a subscriber then subscribe and hope you all have a brilliant week and bye